Okay, good afternoon, y'all. So, I had a couple of videos that I needed to post today. There's something else I forgot to report the other day. Um, I have an old white man spirit in my house. <laughs> he from the damn 1800s. He looked like he from out of one of them old western. Like, he even looked like he might even be from further back before the 1800s. He looks like he might he might be like Civil War era and the reason why i said that's how he might look is because my soul sister vivian has sent me a picture of how he might he looks to her because when i did that video i went in the attic cocked and locked because i heard noise i heard walking around up there she said it's an older white man's spirit and that's what I feel uh, when I even before she wrote me because it was like five days before I even saw her message it was like five days after I even did that video that I saw her message and she was like yes the older white man spirit and she sent me a sample photo of what he looks like and um, even before that I felt um, I felt it was a masculine spirit non-black okay and being that this is Sumter County, I, you know, it's more than likely if it's not black, it's white, okay? <laughs> you know, we have diversity here, but it's not that much diversity. It's usually one or the other. And so being uh, also the side of town that I live on, I figured it had to be a white man. And she confirmed that to me. Uh, Vivian lives on the other side of the world. She also said he's looking for something, and that's why he paces back and forth, because that's what I was hearing as I said in that video. I went in the attic, cocked in, loaded, um... He was pacing back and forth but i heard a loud crash this is a part that i didn't mention to y'all that i've been forgetting to mention and that spirit told me to come on here and say i heard a loud crash about two days ago so three things happened first I, the the whole like there was a sonic boom that occurred in this area this whole house shook and so at first i was like wait a minute the whole house shook like down to the foundation and I was like, I know this roofer ain't come up, come over here, start working on the roof without knocking on the door. That's, you know, that's bad manners. Come knock on people's door before you start working on their house. Okay. But I peeped outside and I, and I saw a truck parked in front of the yard, but I, that wasn't the roofer's truck. It was a landscaper. And I know I didn't have no landscapers over here. So when I came outside the black lady across the street there was an older black lady that lives across the street she came outside um, with her grandson and was like did you hear that loud boom my whole house shook I said yes ma'am I heard that and I said you know what um I thought it was a roofer on the roof I said but the way it shook down to the foundation it was an explosion I said I said it could be somebody's drilling they could be down in the sewers blasting with dynamite that's what it reminded me of it reminded me of a, a, a dynamite blast drilling a drilling maybe somebody hit a gas line down in there or maybe the military is doing something because i do live near shaw air force base which is ninth fighter wing and shaw is shaw also has general george Patton's third army here okay so army and air force is here and you know army corps of engineers they liable to be doing any damn thing okay <laughs> so the whole house shook. she said her house shook too and I, I didn't see nothing in the backyard i didn't see any trucks in the area not saying they couldn't be like down the street but i didn't see any signs posted or nothing i said somebody's drilling underground but you know what else is nearby a walmart walmart's right down the road okay so you know those urban legend rumors and conspiracy theorists rumors about how underground tunnels have been associated with walmarts all around the country well don't just consider it walmart super centers you might want to be suspicious of the Walmart neighborhood stores too because that's what's down the road from me. It's not a super center. There's a super center on the other side of town, about five, four miles away. But the closest one to me is a Walmart neighborhood market, which is the smaller Walmart. And where I live, I'm in direct alignment to that Walmart. I am in vertical alignment down the road from that Walmart. So if there is a tunnel coming from that Walmart coming this way, it will run right up under this house. It will run right up under the street, okay? So, that's the first thing that happened. Right after the sonic boom, I heard a crash in the attic. Like, like somebody threw, not threw something, but like something dropped in the attic. There's nothing high up in the attic to be dropping like that. I ain't go up there because it was kind of cold that day. 
and the attic that I'm talking about is over the garage it's not heated up there even though it's carpeted it's not heated individually so I wasn't going up there I wasn't pulling the stair down and going up there to investigate shit I know it ain't nothing up there high enough to be falling so that's that spirit okay he's not mean Vivian said she does not discern that he means me any harm he don't mean me no harm but the third thing that happened is see I'm gonna have to give the spirit some of my my, my malene or malene leaf tea because I keep dried malene leaf tea. I keep chamomile tea. I have the cut and sifted dried mullein leaf. And I also have catnip. Catnip, catnip is a really soothing good tea because it has like a, a mucousy component to it. So it's good for like split ends and dry hair. You can rinse your hair with catnip tea. But you can also sip it because it's good for insomnia. It's relaxing like chamomile. I haven't I can't remember whether it's good for colds but I would think that it might be good for colds to soothe a dry throat so this spirit was coughing baby coughing out loud I'm gonna mimic his cough in a minute I'm gonna get to that part so after I heard the loud crash I was like oh lord here we go he just getting he just whatever he's looking for he ain't finding and he's not happy about he's not mad with me like I don't feel any malice or bad tension in the house but the cats notice him the cats in the house notice him so baby bear is a tabby cat he's about seven years old he's not my cat i cat sit but he spends most of his time with me during the day him and his little sister his sister so baby bear is like that's my nickname for him he's like seven years old he's a seven year old male tabby and tabby cats are kind of thick and stocky so he's he's like 13 14 pounds he's a heavy cat his sister is what they call a brindle calico, B-R-E-N-D-E-L, calico cat, C-A-L-I-C-O. And she's much smaller, but well, she's about the same age. She's about six, five or six. She's more standoffish and bougie and shit, but she, she cool or whatever. She more standoffish and bougie. She be, you know, she snuggles with me sometimes, but he's always with me. Like, he follows me around. He sits with me. He loves my company. I decided after I heard in the crash and heard the crash in the attic. This is the same attic area where, like I said, I heard the, pat, the pacing back and forth. The other side of the attic that's over my bedroom, over the other side of the house, he doesn't really pace in, but I have heard him up there before. So there's something over this garage that he keeps looking for, this man. And so I don't know if he got mad, whatever it was. Um, I don't know if it's another spirit intercepting or what, but I think it's just him. I lay down on the sofa to watch TV. This is about midday. And baby bear comes and gets on top of my blanket on top of me. So I'm laid on my back with my feet up on the sofa looking at TV with my back facing the foyer or the entryway into the house, the hallway. And baby bear comes and gets on top of the blanket and sits on my chest, like snuggles down on my chest, facing over my head towards the doorway, which my back is to. All of a sudden, so he's sitting there nice and cozy for a minute, about 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden, his eyes get real big. You're like, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen a cat when they see something scary or something that frightens them or another dog or something. Their eyes, their pupils get real, real big. And they have this look on their face, like a shocked look on their face. That's how his face got. His hair didn't stand up on his back, but his face got like that. And I could sense a spirit behind me. I could sense something behind me. But spirit told spirit told me not to turn around so i just said what you see baby bear and he just looked for a while and stared without moving and then all of a sudden he calmed down and right after he calmed down i heard something do this in the office which is right beside the entryway which is like three feet away from where this spirit would have been i heard something do this <coughs> So you people that don't believe in the spirit realm, they're okay, me and cats were at home. Nobody else in the house. Why am I hearing an old white man cough? So I need to offer him some malane leaf tea and some cough drops. Okay. <laughs> because he's got an old civil war, been out in the cold too long, been on the railroad track too long, been on the goddamn chain gang or whatever too long cough. A dusty smoker's cough. That's what that's what he has. And it's railroad tracks right down here half a mile from me so see i'm close to crossroads 
that's not a coincidence this house is close to crossroads the house i went to visit in georgia when i did that electoral college video talking about the solar eclipse and the grand conjunction the great conjunction that one was right about half a mile from some railroad tracks and mother wisdom's house is right near some railroad tracks okay so that's not coincidence and as i'm talking about this man i see this hawk flying over but you know what right before i heard him cough right before i heard no this is right after actually right after i heard the sonic boom on the same day the crash in the attic and him cough and the cat saw him the cats see him all the time i think because i be watching him a lot and i think they know he's around all the time but they're never hissing or, or, or acting mean right after that i noticed when i went out the next day there was an owl hooting so the owl stuck around for three or four days in the trees right around my house and then it left okay so i just wanted to share that you people that don't believe in the spirit realm y'all are gonna be in for a rude awakening okay there is no reason why i should have been hearing a white man coughing when i had my tv on something where nobody was coughing nobody else was in this house okay there's no reason why i should have been hearing no crash in the attic like that okay there's no reason why i should be hearing a white man coughing period because it ain't no white men that live in this house that are alive okay <laughs> so i don't know what he's looking for i'm sure i figured out maybe i'll leave him a cup of tea out one day i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna, I'm gonna make him a cup of tea because he need uh that coughing startled me <laughs> it didn't really startle me because i was prepared the cat saw something i could sense something was there but i couldn't see it and then i hear <coughs> and was, okay so he roams around this house i don't know if this like i don't know if he might have been buried on this land or maybe this land used to be his he could have been a plantation owner i'm gonna have to go to the library or the historical society for this county and find out what was here because this neighborhood is not that old and this side of town just recently it just started being developed not that long ago so i don't know what would have been here but I'll find out. I'll eventually find out. Whatever he's looking for, he's determined because I often hear him pacing. It's not every day, but it's it's a couple times a week. It's a couple times a week. So I got a poltergeist, a spirit in the house. <laughs> but they're attracted to me. So he might not have ever been here. He he may have been here before and just maybe not. Maybe the other people didn't notice. And sometimes when people do notice those things, they don't talk about it because they don't want to sound crazy. But I know I'm not crazy, so, I mean, you got a lot of documentation of hauntings from around the world, so it is what it is. Long as he don't bother me, we ain't gonna have no trouble. I'm gonna leave him some tea out, and maybe a piece of cornbread, a piece of sweet cornbread, and see if that kind of satisfies him so he don't be making all that damn noise. Because that shit scared the hell out of me. <laughs> After the house shook like that. And then there was a loud crash in the attic, that shit scared the mess out of me because it was unex it just it was unexpected but nothing surprises me anymore y'all i have seen so much it's ridiculous i couldn't tell it all you know like the old gospel song said i couldn't tell it all lord but i will talk to y'all later all right as this winter uh winter solstice come in some of y'all some of y'all gonna have a lot more spiritual activity as this winter solstice come in okay all right i'm just telling you ahead of time don't be surprised now if you get a lot more spiritual activity Cause see that veil don't just get thin around halloween that veil get real thin around that winter solstice okay and we got a total solar eclipse coming up on the 14th too 2021 has a number five energy of chaos energy a massive change energy i don't feel too good about january and i don't know why i don't know why i hope it's not nothing bad but just letting you know i'll talk to you later bye